So when you have the crew install the cassette for the SR40 lift, uh, it's a little bit flimsy, so it needs to be supported. You'll see there's a couple of drains in the center of each side which need to have sink wells. Most importantly is the conduit that's coming off. You can see here for the hydraulic hoses and power cords. Make sure that's secured to the edge of the cassette or it'll move when you actually pour the concrete, which can be a major problem, which we found out later on. So you can see the poured concrete here, and subsequently here is the lift now in place. Unfortunately, due to the conduit moving, I had to cut a small hole with a core concrete cutter, you can see, to really align the harnesses. Yeah, so once a month, take it all the way to the top, and then you'll, you'll obviously remove these two screws, yeah, yeah, yeah. and your lid will come up. Hold down this override button, and then you hold the up button for about 60 seconds, right? And then while you're doing that, what that does is it purges the system. Okay. And gets all the air out of it. So, and once you've completed, say, 60 seconds, you can then use the hoist as an engine. But that's not going to make any noise or anything? There's not going to be any any indication that you're purging the air? or you, No, no. It'll just sound like... I'll show you a little bit now because we're right up the top now. Okay. Normally it would stop, but the, the override button allows you to purge the system. Yep. So you can hear the oil coming back to the top. Yep. So what it's doing there is it's letting the oil flow through the system. It's pushing the air out of the ram that's trapped. And then that will level the, the platform. So how do they know that they're level? Sorry? How do they know that they're level? So they will stop if they get out of level. If you've got a vehicle on that goes too far, yeah. they will stop. They've got oh, no, uh, sort of a... Yeah. So they've got they've got um, several different switches on them. One's a height switch and one's an out of level switch. So if one of these is engaged and one one isn't, it then knows that okay. later, that shouldn't be engaged, so we need to stop, right? If they're both engaged, it knows that it's in the right position. So as you're coming down, it'll stop about a foot off the ground and beep. Beep. Then you've got to take your finger off the down button and put your finger on the down button again, and then it will carry on. Oh, okay. So it's just a safety, safety. thing, yep. so keep your feet away. Basically. Yeah, cool. This, this will take you five minutes to get down with a car. Right? What sort of oil goes in there? So it's a high spin, 46 weight, hydraulic oil. Okay, and you can get that... Anywhere. But in reality, I'm not doing that. You get that you, done when you get it serviced. You won't need to do it. Yeah. As far as um, service schedules go, um, you're only required by WorkSafe to have the hoist inspected once a year through a commercial environment. Most of our clients are once every six months. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And the frequency of oil change, is there a filter? They're, they've got a, a filter on the pickup. Um, we would probably recommend after the first 12 months change the oil, just to get any, any obviously being new, there could be any stuff in it. Nine times out of 10, the oil comes out pure. pure. So you see how it slows down a bit and then stops? Right, she's gonna beat that up. You have to take your finger off the down button. Yep. Put it back on the down button and then it will come down all the way to the floor. lubricate the guides isolation so obviously you can turn it on cool. you can leave it on all the time if you want to yep. it's totally up to you you can see where those see where our guide blocks are yeah as the hoist goes up they're going to move up the channel so if you just spray inside the channel just doesn't need a lot up each channel that will eliminate some of the the moaning. Okay. It's the same underneath here, see? See how they're touching yep, at yeah, the top? Yep. If you just spray along the top where they run, you'll on the top. eventually be able to see the mark where the block runs. Yep. Just spray that. Cool. Just a quick spray. And so the bottom one's on the, so on the bottom yeah, or on the yep. side? They'll be on the bottom and the side. They've already got grease in them by the looks. Cool. Which is, I'm going to give it a clean out because it would have got dust in, shit in there. Yeah. Um, and I'll put some of this on instead. Cool. So, but if you've got a cannon slowing around, that'll make a big difference. Beautiful. Yep. So this is the first use of the hoist for me as a hobbyist. Uh, and I've got um, my mum's old 124 Mercedes wagon, which I'm about to prop up. So I've got the blocks in my spot 
Balsam. Thank you. 